am Gemma Modinos. I'm the current chair of the Young Academy of Europe, and I'm a reader in neuroscience and mental health and a Sir Henry Dale Fellow at King's College London. I'm deeply honored to have been elected as new chair of the YIE, and I see this position as a service to the community of young scholars in Europe. My vision for the next year of the YIE revolves around three main topics, collaboration, inclusivity, and mobilizing our youth. So in terms of collaboration, it's a priority, for example, to strengthen a closer partnership with the Academia Europea. This brings our members fantastic opportunities for visibility, mentoring and sponsorship, and the exchange is beneficial for both organizations. Another priority is to join efforts with national young academies, and we are now very close to warranting an independent voice for young scholars in European scientific policy mechanisms. And finally, I also have as a priority to enhance communication and transparency within the board and between the board and the wider membership to make us even more efficient to represent the interests of YAE fellows. In terms of inclusivity, my ambition is to continue to increase our membership, uh, seeking diversity and equality of representation. And we're also now working with the AE, Eva Kondorossi in particular, for widening participation to young scholars in Eastern European countries. And finally, on mobilizing our youth, I envision the YAE as an advocate for further grassroots movements to give a voice for scientific advice to the even younger generations, in particular those exceptional high school and undergraduate minds with outspoken views. So we're working on an exciting proposal to discuss these plans with the EC at the moment. The question is about how, and uh, I will refer to European scientific advice mechanisms. So until now, uh, what we've been working is as soon as calls for, sci for expert scientific advice on a given topic have been put out, we cascaded this down to our membership and also to our collaborators in National Young Academies and then put forward the relevant uh, experts so that the input from young scholars can be incorporated in science advice. Now we've also been active in nominating members for the SAM and the group of chief scientific advisors whose current chair, Nicole Grobert, uh, we like showing off uh, Nicole very much, is a founding member and a former chair of the YAE. So uh, very excitingly, we're now close to putting in place a more established mechanism for young scholars to provide advice as an independent body, which has been an unprecedented and highly rewarding step from joining efforts between national young academies that the YAE had been advocating for for some time. The research shutdowns caused by the pandemic have generated a great deal of professional and emotional distress to young scholars. It is important to realize that many young researchers have temporary positions, even when holding an ERC or other prestigious grants, and even when they're leading their own research groups. So a delay in their research or a freeze of research investment blocks their career progression. And, and this damages science as a whole, not just the individuals. So having to worry about whether their contract will be extended or whether they can get a new job in the near future on top of the uncertainty around the research being delayed has been adding additional mental strain for this group who are already at a stressful career stage. Um, with the Young Academy, we run a survey to better understand the impact of the pandemic on the research and careers of young scholars as part of a Caliper project, which is a Horizon 2020 project. And our preliminary findings show that the pandemic has exacerbated inequalities. That is the main message. Levels of stress have increased, people work more hours but less on research, struggled with work-life balance and felt less motivated. And the situation has been worse for people with caring responsibilities and especially women. So we, we need to keep in mind that ECRs are the future of our research landscape and they must be supported to ensure the prosperity of European research post portfolios in a post-pandemic world. So gender equality is a core mission of the YIE. At this point, we have an equal distribution of females and males in our membership, uh, but there's still a gender gap in STEM careers and much work to be done. The YIE continues to advocate for the role of women in science to promote their careers, protect their interests and highlight inequalities where there are. And for example, we participate in the Horizon 2020 Project Caliper with the goal to make research organizations more gender equal 
by increasing the number of female researchers in STEM, improving their career prospects and integrating a gender dimension in research.